Oh well, hello! This is Paolo Copage and welcome back to more of the Curious Expedition Alpha 30. We're rocking it. Well, I say we're rocking it. We're doing okay. We're doing okay with Dion Fortune. It's nothing to write home about. We've had better. You've seen better. You deserve better. But sadly, I am a victim of what is laid out in front of me and how those dice roll and they're not being as nice as they could be. Let's 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 not you know make a mistake here and say we're doing terribly. We have not been attacked by any crabs and we have not fallen down any holes. So that is a a, a straight up you know good thing. I, I like to think you know it, it you know as I said you know we've had better goes, but we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Let's let's look at the positives. Let's let's not be sad. Let's not have a sad face. Let's have a happy face. Let's have a happy face. <laughs> so. After that very long and drawn out introduction, let's crack on. So we are on Expedition 3 of 6. Uh, we, do, we do, as I said, we do, I'm, I'm repeating myself. We're doing all right. Let's just crack on. We can, we can go to the Wahomey Drylands, a harsh, desolate area for experienced explorers. A golden pyramid can be found in this region. Now, we do have a sacrificial altar, which I would like to try. So that's, that's an interesting one. We also have the Dark Drylands. Etc. Uh, Etc. Et with those bits, uh, we have a missionary. We have a cenote. Lots of shrines. How many shrines do you have in this place? We oh, we got tombs as well. We like mummies. We like mummies. Uh, we have the sorrowful desert, scorching heat and sand as far as the eye can see. A golden pyramid can be found in this region, plus lots of mummies and the merciless elephant dying grounds. You know what? As you know by now, I record in blocks. I usually record two or three episodes at a time. I've completely forgotten about this one. And I'd be a fool not to take it. A fool, I tell you. So we're going to the Merciless Elephant Dying Grounds. Boom. Eagerly anticipating the upcoming adventure, I arrived at the harbour. The crew had preparations left to do, so I spent my time on the deck, enjoying the cool breeze. A merchant proposed an interesting offer. He was a collector of sorts and promised to pay well for any instruments that we would return with. Well, I accept your offer. Anupam Meta. There's a really nice Indian restaurant where I live called Anupam. There we go. Food for thought. Quite literally food for thought. Uh, I accept you, Anupam. Or I accept your offer anyway. The trader was glad to see that I accepted his request. He wished us luck on our journey. My past expeditions had been quite successful, and I felt I was close to see I was close to see my face on that statue. Word about this had spread in this city, and many people came to see our ship boarding. Who did I want to recruit? Well, as it turns out, we've got space. We don't talk about the Scottish soldier. No, no, no. That is something which is in my diary, and will stay in my diary. No one else needs to know. No one needs to know how bad it got that first time round on the easiest expedition. No, no, no. We have Francis Rue, the cook, who's superstitious, I believe. Yes, yes, yes. And we have James Sterling, the diplomat, who is, of course, perfect. Thank God for him. So let's go for James Sterling. I am a big fan of uh, old Jim Boy there. So, Mr. Sterling, welcome. We could use a helping hand and welcome James Sterling in our trek. My heart jumped with joy as I heard that the vessel was ready to set sail. Thank God for him. Uh, right, so we need to purchase some equipment. Uh, we're not too worried about upgrading our donkey as of yet. As of yet. Um, mm, okay, so we have the alcohol. Now, the alcohol is very good if you have the Scottish soldier. If you don't, although it is still not a bad way of replenishing your sanity, the issue is you do have the chance of having your trek members become alcoholics, to which point they become a bit of a pain in the ass. So, with that in mind, and the fact we have two chocolate, let us buy all the rope, all the machetes. We're doing okay for the torches, I think. How much are the binoculars worth? 50. Let's buy the binoculars and let's buy seven of the whiskies because we are looking for the Necronomicon. That's the word I was, I was waiting to have pop into my head. <laughs> and for that, 
and the way it works now where you don't know how many points of interest are in each region we need to be able to see as far as we can so i think the binoculars make sense and we've got the uh the teeth the animal teeth so worst case scenario we can always trade that towards food so yes i like that and i think we're going to wing it as far as the medikit's concerned i don't i don't think we're going to need it on the third expedition i think we'll be okay he says hope hoping amongst hope uh, so that will do that will do my heart jumped with joy as I heard that our vessel was ready to set sail. Let's set sail then. Expedition 3. And what are we generating last? Shrines. Always a good one. Always a good one. And straight away, look at that. Oh! I'm speechless. I'm... I think I lied on the last episode when I said that was the fastest expedition ever. We don't even have to move off the ship to know where the Golden Pyramid is. We can just end it like that. Boom. Done. Cut it off. On to the next. But we're not. We're not. After weeks of bad food and seasickness, we finally reached the shore of our expedition area. The land lay open in front of us like an invitation to an adventure. So, we don't need to store anything. So let's just crack on, I guess. Uh, we're going to need lots and lots of rope over the marshes. That is annoying. That is annoying. Can we get around there? 11. Where are we? We're in the southwest we're in the southwest okay let's uh well we can always come back to the elephant grave because it's right next to the pyramid so let's hit the northwest elephant graveyard make our way across and then north probably i think is the best bet on that so yeah this is going to be annoying we're going to use up all our rope before we even leave the first region never mind so, I suppose we can always cart stuff back straight away to the ship as well, so we don't have to carry it. This bleak and foreboding place was situated in the middle of a swamp, scattered with the remains of long-dead elephants. For some reason, the creatures of many generations had come here to die. Uh, yes, let's search. This place suddenly held some valuables for us. I told the people to form small teams and investigate the surroundings. After some time, we found valuable elephant tusks. They sure were heavy to carry, but would prove valuable if we returned them home. Right, we said valuable three times there. Awesome. Love it. Theosaurus, anyone? Right, it's only the one elephant tusk, but that's okay. That's okay. Let's crack on to the next one and continue to use lots and lots of rope. Because, you know, why not? Why not? Money for old rope. That it would be. And let's have a look. This bleak and foreboding place was located in the middle of a swamp, scattered with the remains of long dead elephants. For some reason, hundreds of the animals had come here to die. Did you see how I changed that up a little? And also, they have re painted? Johans has repainted, I think is the best way of putting it, the background to the elephant dying grounds. It's a little bit more uh, detailed now. I really dig this big elephant tusk here. Well, skull, should I say. It's a skull. Uh, that is awesome. Do, why do they choose swamps all the time? Do they do they drown? Do they, do they drown themselves, maybe? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, hello, Dion. Uh, maybe they uh, sort of uh, decompose quicker. Maybe they know that. Maybe they know that. So we can get our tusks quicker. So uh, valuables and valuable. This place certainly has some variables for us. I'm not going to say it again. We've done this. Oh, we got two this time. Coolio. Coolio. I've got a funny feeling that's going to be one as well. Uh, that's 37. That's quite a trek around. Um, let's pop back. 12, 16. But if we go there, it means we can use machete and use minimum ropes to get there so to yeah so let's go back to the boat awesome uh, and that's all our rope gone good times uh, right so um, we returned to our ship I paused and appreciated the beauty of our vessel uh, we need to access the ship storage and pop those in there cool oh the music suddenly just cut off there the captain greeted me as we approached our ship this morning being here almost felt like being safe almost not quite not quite um, I think we better rest here, just so we don't use the pool our, our bit straight away. I told 
to pipe down the track and told the people to rest. One could cut the tension with a butter knife as we rested by the fireplace. I enjoyed sitting by the crackling fire and went back in my memories to record my personal notes in my travel journal. I noticed Farazashar Manakashaw watching me curiously. Hmm, what's up with you? Nothing, he's good, he's a good bloke. He's a good bloke, he's fine. No worries there, Dion, no worries. What's that take us up to? Can we get another 84 out of 100? I did. We're doing okay. After days of resting, we still enjoyed the convenience of our boat. However, I felt that the captain wanted us to leave the ship. Right, well, let's, let's crack on, that's fine. And as it stands, let's up great Jim because he didn't look as dodgily that's fine and on to the next place which I suspect is going to be another elephant dying ground indeed indeed this bleak and ancient place etc etc search area this place certainly held some valuables for us etc etc and it's only the one this time that's fine that's fine Looters can't be choosers. Well, they can be choosers, but... I was I was trying to riff off the beggars can't be choosers, but it doesn't quite have the same same tone to it. And we should upgrade Jim again. So he's got an extra set of utility dice, which is always useful. Uh, right, just to free up a little bit of space, I'm going to eat the two chocolate. Cool. And we shall make our way to the northbound question mark. Easy does it, guys. Oh, 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 we have the tiger on our tail. Right. So we have lots of attack dice. I think we should just go for the tiger. I think we should just go for the tiger. Because um, it will give us animal teeth then. And a pelt to trade. So yeah, let's attack the tiger. It's only the one, thankfully. And it has 14 health, which is... We can cope with that. We can cope with that. That's fine. Oh, not with throws like that. That was rubbish. Let's let's headbutt him and stun one of his dice. We might get lucky and get that again. Hmm. Do I hold on to that to go for another headbutt? I think we should. If we can try and disable as many of his dice as possible, that probably work out best for us. So yes, we'll do the headbutt and then we'll just we'll take the one attack off him as well. And that means only one of his dice should be active. Oh, no, neither are. Oh, awesome, he's only got two dice. Good to know, good to know. So if we carry on doing that, we might just get away with this. So let's hold on to that. No, no. Yeah, we hold on to that. That's right. Awesome. Headbutt again. And roll for a... Oh, no, boo. There, have that. Stunned. And again... I know this is boring. I, I, I guess this is like the equivalent of me turtling in the StarCraft. And uh, once again, headbutt. No damage to us. I just see it as playing safe. That's what we do. It's a, it's a ferocious tiger. It has claws and fangs. And I, I don't have any tetanus shots with me. So, I, you know, what, what would happen there? It just wouldn't be good. It wouldn't be good for my health at all. Oh dear. Please? Hey. The RNG gods are smiling on us today. Once again, for the win. Yes and yes. As long as we can knock out at least one dice. Uh, that's me risking it, isn't it, if I roll that now. Or not. And Swordy? Nope. <laughs> and last time, roll. Headbutt, and then... Mm. Double attack or precise attack. Kill him over twice. We stripped what was useful from the dead. That's probably the most strategic I've ever been <laughs> playing the dice on the on there. So uh, we'll take everything. Why not? We've got the space. And we shall approach the trader. A wandering tradesman had set up camp here. The mysteriously dressed trader had a lot of useful goods on offer. Most of them seemed to be the remains of other failed expeditions. He hesitated before presenting us a selection of his wares. We could not help but think that he was hiding something from us. Oh, come on. Show me your good stuff and I'll show you the money. I will show you the money. All right, what can we make use of here? Well, the rope, I think, would definitely come in useful. Ten of those wouldn't go amiss. Uh, let's put up both our traders. 
yeah that does make a difference and let's put in the pelt and all the teeth so we can have whatever we want really um let's take the teeth back for the time being and let's take 10 rope we've got five machete left food we're doing okay Okay, well, if we took five machete, it takes back up to what we started with, and then take some food cans. Two food cans. That's pretty good. Oh, you can have the meat. I don't like the meat. Um, and we'll take more machetes, I guess. Another one? No, 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 no. Nine. That's all you're getting. And, that, and we'll leave the uh, animal teeth in case we come across a village and we can get some uh, some drums or musical instruments of any sort. So yeah, I like that deal. The merchants seem to expect to see us again, as customers or the next failed expedition to raid. Alright, so we are definitely into the northwest region. Doesn't seem to be too much here, although those mountains are going to cut off what we're going to see up here. So it's probably worth us just having a, a roam over here. It's not too much. 16 sanity. We can afford to lose. And uh, hopefully there might be something hidden behind these mountains. See? It's worth exploring. It's worth exploring. Uh, nothing else though, so let's make our way to this one. Oh, we have a village. How, how is that standing? Minus one. Okay. Uh, we entered a native village. The natives seemed to be a clan of well-trained warriors. One of the natives was capable of speaking our language, introduced him, uh, blah, 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 and introduced himself as Guhafun. He had learned English at a nearby mission. Politely, but unmistakably, unmistakably, seriously. <sighs> Politely, but unmistakably serious, he asked us about the reason of our visit. Uh, well, to recruit and trade, I guess. I told Guha Fun. He's now going to be referred to as Big Fun. I told Big Fun that we wanted a local or two that could show us around. He shook my hand and guided us into the settlement. The villagers. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just going to put my teeth in for a second. Bear with me. The villagers had been wait awaiting us. They seemed to know about us already. They were cautious but politely offered their help. Mm. So we could recruit. We could recruit. Um, let's trade first because recruits are generally free. Ooh. God. Uh, let us haggle and take that. We're not too far off. So if we gave them all our teeth and took all the instruments and then just take back as many teeth as we can get away with. Right, we're not too far off on those. I'd like to keep four. So how about a machete? And we can have a rope. Good deal, good deal. I came to an agreement with the villagers. And uh, now we'll look at recruiting. Are they happy with us now? No, of course not. I asked around to see if some locals were willing to join my cause. However, all the villagers refused to join our expedition. We needed to increase our standing with these people before they would join. Boo. Our extended presence was perceived well by the natives. They remained very polite and seemed to, do, to not be disturbed by our stay. Good to know. We shall leave you now. We shall leave you. Thank you for your monies. Uh, we packed for the trek and headed out as new adventures could be waiting around the next corner. Cool. Uh, now, we are overburdened, but we are going to be eating both food cans, which should just take us down back to normal. Yes. Awesome. Now, I am a little worried because we have full stuff. Uh, and we're going to be picking more stuff up as we go. Let's see what this next one is. Um... I'd like to not aggro the hyenas if I can. We'll hopefully run parallel to them. Oh, that was close. Okay, let's examine. I inspected the mysterious, more than three meters high stone idol. The skillful crafted eyes seemed to focus on us. It was a disconcerting sight, and I desired to move on. I saw some items by the statue. They must have been put there by the natives of this region. They were sacrificial offerings, as it seemed. Let's examine the loot. Ah, well... Tusks stack. Mangoes get eaten quickly, so that'll do. We took what was useful to us. 
James Sterling was visibly shaken by the encounter with the mysterious statue. Oh, Jimbo. Don't you go worrying your little head about it. There's no need to get upset. Don't you cry tonight. I still love you, baby. That was a gun ro uh, Guns and Roses a, uh, lyric, if you uh, weren't quite sure about that. They're quite old now. I don't keep up with the kids. I'm classic rock, me. Classic rock. Right, that's the mangoes disappeared, so we have freed up the space once more. Uh, again, not too fussed by the butterflies. They don't really offer us much as far as fame or fortune is concerned, so they can just carry on floating just there. That's fine. Now, it looks like we might have to take on a gorilla, though. I'm I'm going to walk into that clearing. Hopefully, we'll be able to see a little bit further into the into the jungle, and uh, make the decision on whether it's worth us actually. Uh, oh well, yeah, apparently it will be going further into it. Oh, we have a portal. Well, let's get close to that portal then. Uh, let's go northwards. Now, again, the only annoying thing is uh, we're not going to have any space to bring anything back, so we're going to have to do some uh, moving stuff around. A mysterious gate stood before us. In its centre, a swirl of light seemed to form some kind of portal. Let's enter the portal. We mustered up all our courage and marched through the blinding light. A moment later, we walked out into a mysterious and strange landscape. Cool. Ah, uh, there's a few things next to us. How big is this? Four region? Four region. Right, well, let's start by going northwards, because we are restricted by how far we can travel before we get sucked back out. Uh, we, uh, the idol's... Uh, the idol. The uh, statue's probably good here, actually. I examined the strange more than three metres high stone statue. We've already done this bit. I don't need to repeat myself, do I? The only difference is it's covered in green stuff. It looks like Mountain Dew. That's what it is. This this uh, statue is surrounded by Mountain Dew. What do you have for me? Well, we have more flutes, which is awesome. We'll take the mangoes, and we'll take the blue mushroom, and we'll eat it all straight away. Uh, not worried about that bit. Uh, so, let's eat the mangoes. Let's use the mushroom. Right, so it doesn't look like we're going over to that side of, the, of that region. It's all a bit cut off. Uh, not sure how long you get here. I don't know if we're going to have enough time to move over to there and to here. We don't know what's down here. Hmm. Well, it's a quick run to there compared to there. So let's just go to this one first. Oh, we have a shrine. The temple before us deserved both fear and respect. It was a bold step. Step. It was a bold testament to the power of its creators. Waist-high stairs led up to an enormous doorway. The structure was slightly tilted and sunken into the ground. The ground seemed stable enough to enter it, though. Let's have a look. We had found a sacred altar room. If this place held any riches, I knew we would find them here. We found a stone altar that was covered in ancient writings. Ooh, ah. Uh, okay, so... um. Well, we're obviously going to take it all. Uh, it looks like we're probably going to have to drop the torches because we've not come across any torches so far, uh, or any caves so far, should I say. And for the sake of quantity, if we drop the machetes and take the statue there instead, I think that makes sense. What a glorious day! We secured the treasure. We grabbed what we could and hurried outside as the ground disappeared behind us. An ever-expanding chasm was beginning to form, and we needed to run as fast as our legs could take us. Ooh, uh, ooh, and indeed, uh. Right, so we could go down south and go up against the raptor. I'm hoping, though, if we go northwards, we can get close to uh, this question mark before we get sucked out of the portal. And it means we're walking away from the ever-expanding hole, which will be forming behind us, like so. Otto. Oh, that's it. We're definitely have to wait for the portal to take us away now. Uh, ooh, okay. Um, let's just mm, let's examine the shrine. Oh, mm, what to do? We need to get to the other side of the shrine in case. Damn it! I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> my vision vision became blurry. I rubbed my eyes. When I looked up again, I was back where I had stepped into that terrible portal. Bugger! 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 Bugger. I knew something like that was going to happen. I didn't want to be caught short on the wrong side of the portal if something was going to happen 
like the ground falling away or else we would have been screwed ah, that was a judgment call and that was a bad judgment call okay never mind let's crack on um let's make our way around to uh the what's probably now going to be a cave now we've got rid of all our torches oh it's a waterfall uh let's right let's upgrade uh pharaoh because it means that he will get an extra set of dice i believe no must be next time then maybe we'll just look at jim on that one yeah okay uh uh do we explore yeah we could do with exploring this waterfall was of enormous scale it was an awe-inspiring sight the water cooled down the air creating a fresh breeze nice we decided it would be a good idea to stay here and allowed everyone to rest. That night, something felt wrong as we rested by the fireplace. Laying awake and listening to the dark nature surrounding me, I wondered if there was a way to foresee the kinds of curses that would await me when raiding the mysterious temples in these lands. Maybe if I paid extra attention to their appearance, I could gain a better understanding. Hmm. Yes. There we go. Hint, hint. 64... Yeah, we're doing okay. As we prepared to for departure, I knew we would miss the rumbling of the falling water. The natural beauty of this place was breathtaking. Let's rest again. Screw it. We settled down and allowed everyone to rest. One could cut the tension with a butter knife as we sat and stared into the campfire. I enjoyed sitting by the crackling fire and went back to my memories to record our recent adventures in my travel journal. I noticed James Sterling observing me curiously. Mmm, now Jim's on it. Superstitious bastard right okay let's crack on after this we've got well we should be maxed out now he says hopefully yes 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 as we prepared to for departure i knew we would miss the rumbling of the falling water this is truly a beautiful place let's go let's go uh, we're going to walk straight onto the hill because regardless of what that is it means that we're going to see a, a good lay of the land around us and as it turns out there's not a lot in the region below us so We'll examine the shrine, we'll move westwards to whatever this one is, and then south to here, and then west to the pyramid, I guess, is the, is the, the way to go about things. Let's examine. A shrine towered above us. It was in terrible shape, as the weather had been beating down on it for centuries. I could make out an entrance at an upper platform. We would have to climb up the outer walls in order to reach it. I could swear I heard the sound of rushing water underneath the ground. Hmm, okay. We used the rope to safely heave ourselves up to the entrance. Okie dokie. We arrived at what seemed to be the treasure chamber. It was a truly awe-inspiring sight. I held my breath as we discovered an ancient altar in its centre. Oh, right. Hmm, and we have a Tome of Dry Lands. Interesting. Right, okay. Uh, we're going to take... We're going to drop the rope. We're going to take the gold. Ooh, do I really want the tome? We can just run away from the water. We're just going to run away from the water, I think. I would not leave empty-handed. We secured the treasure. We grabbed what we could and hurried outside as enormous fountains of water broke through the ground and started to flood the whole area. We had to run for our lives to not drown in the huge lake that began to form. Oh dear. Or alternatively, we could just wait on top of the hill. That's not going to affect us at all. So let's uh, let's head this way. And uh, we are overburdened now, I think. No, we're doing okay. We're not overburdened. Good, good, good. Uh, right, let's explore here. This Blake, uh, Blake, this bleak and ancient place was situated in the middle of a swamp, scattered with the remains of long dead elephants. For some reason, the creatures of many generations had come here to die. And let's search. My instinct told me we would find something of value here. We formed small search teams and searched the place. We inspected some skeletons and found some well-preserved elephant tusks. They could be sold for a high price, you know. Yes, yes, yes. That's four, plus the ones we got back at the uh, at the place we've been to already. Uh, we're about to get flooded out here. Uh, I think we're going to... Well, we, 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 mm, we're stuck between water and a gorilla. 
stuck between water and a gorilla. L um, let, let's get up on... Hmm, we don't want to be going that way. We definitely want to head that way and then onto the hill. I think we should be able to survive that to 36. And that's to 51. Now, 36 is enough. Let's get on the hill. Oh, gorilla gone for swimmies. That is for sure. Right, so we're on to one... One sanity now. Um, right, let's. So we're only going to get 10. Oh, it's 20. That's, whiskey's good. Uh, is anyone. Oh, good. Now Fair is an alcoholic. Right, we better keep a few back. Let's, uh, let's get onto this hill here next to whatever this may be, and that should open up the rest of the bottom region. So we have a waterfall. We're not going to worry about the waterfall just yet let's get over to the furthest question mark we can that's 38 let's risk it it's only three sanity let's risk it and then we can always diverse our way back through the uh, the butterflies to pick those up oh it's another shrine <gasps> what's going on the ongoing stress of, on our body made our senses numb and our wearing full of negligence for Rosa Shaw Manica Shaw that was said completely wrong. Pharaoh Zashar, Malik Ashur, stepped into a spear trap. It looked freshly placed. Damn natives. The spears were covered by dirty water. The wound was infected immediately. Mm. That's not good. So you, you've got an infected wound and you're injured. Mm. Oh dear. Okay. Examine the shrine. A shrine towered above us. It was in terrible shape as the weather had been beating down on it for centuries. What remained of, narrow, of a narrow staircase led to the only entrance. I could swear I heard the sound of rushing water underneath the ground. Okay. Let's climb without safety. We've got plenty of dice going our way. Boom. Twice over. We had to try. I ordered everyone to be careful and scaled the shrine without safety measures. Faith smiled upon us. Exhausted, but proud of our accomplishment, we reached the shrine portal without considerable problems. We had found a sacred altar room. We quietly looked around the majestic hall. An altar, flooded by light, throned in its centre. Ah, and this is where it starts to get awkward. Okay, so uh, now we are going to scrap the animal teeth, take the gold butterfly collection. Butterfly, butterfly, butterfly. Uh, we're going to take the vase because we're going to drink all the whiskey in a second anyway. So that will do nicely. I would not leave empty handed. We took what we came for. We grabbed what we could and hurried outside as enormous fountains of water broke through the ground and started to flood the whole area. We had to run for our lives to not drown in the huge lake that began to form. Right, so let's drink all the whiskey. Which makes us good as far as that's concerned. More alcohol. So uh, let us, yeah, go to the other side of the question mark. That probably makes more sense. Oh, we have a camp. We entered an old campsite, like the remains of a failed expedition before us. The skeleton of what must have been a French explorer stared at us through hollow eye sockets. And the Golden Pyramid music is going off because we're that awesome. Let's have a look. This place certainly held some valuables for us. We formed small search teams and searched the place. To our surprise, one of the rotten crates still had some valuable equipment. Uh, the only thing I can pick up, bath what I have already, is food, which I'm going to eat straight away. So, here goes nothing. Chocolate. Nice. So, because we're overburdened, let's eat the chocolate. And that should hopefully... Uh, we want to go to there, then we want to go to there, and then that's 79, 93? No, because that means we go through the mosquitoes, which isn't good. Uh... uh let's cancel that. What about if we go... 12 uh, to 25 to 29 so 12 to 25 and then to there 84 and then we just risk getting bitten that's probably for the best 
he says. So we should collect both mush uh, mushrooms. We should be able to collect both butterflies. And we've got, yeah, so Pharaoh has been bitten. Uh, he's got a rash. Awesome. And then we've go around the pyramid to the elephant graveyard. And then that means, oh, we'll be bang on. Nice. This bleak and ancient place was situated in the middle of a swamp, littered with the remains of long dead elephants. For some reason, the creatures of many generations had come here to die. My instinct told me that we would find something of value here. I told the people to form small teams and investigate the surroundings, all bones and robots and useless. We found some peculiar instead. <gasps> peculiar? Oh, well, that's awkward. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, so, um. Mysterious egg. Wow. I think we're going to drop the butterfly collection and we'll take the mysterious egg instead. Uh, no, we can't do that. We can't do that because the butterfly collection takes up no space. Screw it. Let's risk it. Let's risk it. Um, so it's what, 46 for being overburdened just a little. Okay, so, oh, right, okay, fine, fine, fine. In which case, I think out of all those things, it's the llama which isn't worth as much as the rest. The tusks are going to be worth a hell of a lot of money. The binoculars we need. The flutes, we're going to get 25 funds per... per flute. That's one, two, five funds. Yeah, so it makes sense to drop one of these. So, um, a golden vase or the golden llama. Hmm. I think we'll scrap the vase. Jeez. I've never been in a position where I've had so much gold I have to get rid of it. Right, and let's crack on to the pyramid. Explore. There was the golden pyramid enthroned above the landscape. Overcoming all the obstacles, we had yet survived. Knowledge is better than ignorance. Yes, yes. After all this hardship, great joy overcame me. I knew that the name Dion Fortune would be written about. Onwards! Suck and cess. So, we did alright there. Our current frames are okay. Uh, we found the Golden Pyramid, which obviously helps. We got the Secret World bonus, tip top. We finished third, so it's a, the equivalent of finishing second if you take in the second world, uh, the secret world bonus we did. So uh, not too bad, not too bad. Um, what do we have medal wise? We have uh, navigator increases the game compass accuracy when uncovering fields. We have spiritual solidarity allows to rest for three emissions, and we have climber reduces movement cost when crossing hills. I'm a big fan of climber. We shall take that one. Huzzah! Huzzah! Jumping for joy. And, uh, oh, we've been caught up. That's not good. Now, we are literally swimming in stuff here, so uh, we, can, uh, we can afford to, to get as, as close to Tesla as we, as we want to be. So, uh, the big gold stuff will, will fame it. Uh, the little gold stuff, which is only 40 fame, will, will sell. So, we'll gift that. We'll gift that. We'll gift that. We're going to sell all the tusks. Ah, oh, famous 50. Hmm. Okay. Uh, well, we'll gift that and gift that. We're going to keep all of the flutes. We're going to keep the mysterious egg. We're going to gift the butterflies and we'll sell both of those. So to 420 funds. Awesome. And we're ahead. Boom. Boom, indeed. So, yeah, not a bad expedition. I think we've made it back, definitely, on that one. Lots of funds. About to get some more as well when we sell those flutes. We should be able to buy some of the more expensive items in the, in the shop. And hopefully, maybe even upgrade our donkey twice. That would help because we are struggling on carry, on carry space at the moment. But enough jibber-jabbering. It's a long episode again. So, thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.